Hi there and welcome. This is Cade in the Nest and I'm so excited to have you with me. It's Fabulous Friday here where I always have fun and celebrate the week that has been and the weekend upcoming. So I'm thinking about you, hoping that you are similarly having something to look forward to on this weekend or if you're watching it any other day that you have something that is going to bring you joy. If you have your stitching or crocheting or whatever with you, um, please stitch along and enjoy. I also want to start out with a, a welcome to my new subbies. I have been blessed um, to have, yeah, you know, beautiful comments coming in and people saying they've just found me. So you are very, very welcome here. Um, and this is about just sharing the making. So I have started the Betty quilt um, just very recently and I can't stop making it. And if you've seen my uh, sewing basket um, video, you will know that I actually found this doily on that. And I literally last night could not um, not put this on a block. So here it is. Um, the cat that lives in my mum's house and sleeps, you know, sneaks onto her bed and is always following her around, taking centre spot on uh, this block. The other thing is, I'll bring this nest over. This is one of my fabric uh, nests and um, I've also had a little bit more time to search today my stash and I actually am very excited because I found... Um, this piece of Rachel's fabric and I love, I think this is what I was trying to explain, I love these little sections that I can um, work on so I would like to use some of that um, and I also found this floral piece, um, love this, I've used it in my journal of stitchery um, in the journal and this is going to go on on the Betty quilt um, so that's fun. Some of mum's pieces still here, little embroidery. She she tucks, oh, their beads falling off. Um, yeah, she tucks all these little things in <laughs> to the bags that she sends home with me. Um, and I don't discover all of them. I looked this morning and found this and I thought, I really, this, this, uh, this seems familiar. And I realise it's one of the pillowcases that um, she used to use on her bed. And because she knows I'm collecting roses, and she loves roses, um, this pillowcase has held her head. So again, that's going to be featured on a block. Here's a block as such. And the other thing, so this is filled with treasures already, as I just go and collect um, one of my subbies, is like me and loves this beading effect. And this is an old cardigan uh, that I wore actually. It, it was a one I used and used and used and it literally fell apart the lining. Um, but I'm going to, in fact, let's do that now. I'm probably talking really fast because I'm so excited. <laughs> I think last night, by the time I finished filming, I was very tired, um, but I had a great sleep and great memories. So look at that um, as an effective uh, braid or, you know, just a feature on a textile collage. So I thought I'd share that with you. I think that, and you can get so many little squares. So that's just the sleeve. Oh, I should say happy, happy flowers. There we go. The other thing that she popped in, and this is so unlike me, um, but she had popped in this piece of um, quilting material and it's all houses and first of all I actually put it to the side and dismissed it um, and thought I'll, I'll never use that and then I just thought have a closer closer look I saw ladies apparel and remembered how much we love um, shopping together but I also then looked further and found that he was this squil um, <laughs> I just made up a new word. Um, I was going to say square with quilt, and I said squilt. Um, see, that's the excitement. Um, so I'm going to use this um, part because she is known 
for her quilt making and I don't want the pink around it it's okay just being bold and we may not use all that blue either but it has got um, little flower pots down the bottom that's not quite a cost the other thing I that's been such I'm, I'm so grateful um, for this community because so many um, of you have shared your stories um, of mums and daughters and relationships and um, and again I'm just want to encourage you and I've learned a lot of things about memory quilts so it's been a great experience already okay so let's use some of those things on a new block so I'll just quickly take you through I actually think it's coming up so quickly that I might look at that it's a bit of vintage um, gone blank what do you call that um, <laughs> you know what I mean but I've put that in the center of that this one hasn't um, got a lot of work on it but mum bought me um, I always forget she loved by me Habakkuk oh no I don't you know it's it's material that you weave into and this isn't my work um, but I've had that from an oppy shop so again on this one mum's mum's half slip some of that jumper a little bit of needlepoint her roses her stitching her love of lace she gave me that um, and I've been doing some cantha in there and I suppose that's what I realized with the cantha it it is squashing together uh, that's another one and that's another one so that brings me to I'll put these over here can't wait to get into this I've got at the moment three four four left so I thought we'll work on this start a block together with some textile collage this is Vinnie's blanket no it's the one from the sewing basket actually um, but I'm often asked what I start with so I have been converted I think I only made a couple of pieces early on with wadding and now I just need the Vinnie's blanket so um, this is cut square and let's see now I've joined the hashtag um, that Corinne has started That's, um, and part of that has been that I want to use and treasure the relationship um, that we all have with Rachel from Roxy's Creations and her sister Sarah and her mum Judy and this is you know the thing that's binding us all together so I've got an order of um, on its way but part of me was thinking oh I so wish I had some more and then I found this piece so here we go and this is the cotton mum loves her numbers and she said she went to the specialist the other day um, and he said, how are you going? And she said, oh, I'm, I'm feeling really good, but, I, but I'm not doing my cryptic <laughs> crosswords all that well at the moment. And he just laughed and he said, um, if that's what you're judging your health on, um, it, it'll be all right. So um, I'm going to celebrate using these bits of text. I might move my ne my nest out of the way so that you can see more of this. And what if I put one of these down so I can just sort of think of where the colours are going to go. So we need the the quilt shop's very blue. I've got this one that goes beautifully, and I might even start a couple of blocks because. I don't want to go too far away from the colour. She's a pink 
pink girl at the moment but she's did tell me how much she loved roses so we go across here this cotton is so fine and look please don't worry um she she knows my work <laughs> and sometimes she gives me things and i said say i'm not i'm not tearing this and i'm not using it and she goes rip it up i want to see it so i know that um this will be a thrill for her to receive back so that's enough of that one beautiful fine cotton years and years of love with that so why don't we actually start with that might save the quilting one for another time I've also been catching up if you haven't seen um, Railway Cottage Studios you must uh, check out Karen's work I'm so thrilled uh, that she's on YouTube now I saw her quilt Nordic car standing beside Rachel's mum Judy at the craft fair and I, I literally was mesmerized by that quilt and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since I've seen it and it actually is the inspiration for my I'm in the garden quilt which started out as my field notes quilt and still is field notes but um it's it's got lots and lots of <laughs> flowers more than anything okay so totally in the flow already and don't you love that feeling when you you, you just think this feels right so i'm going to kind of going to um put these bits of text all the way through the collage on the other blocks as well because that ties the work together so a little birdie up there we had birds growing up so i've also had a look at corinne's quilt today um, which is absolutely beautiful and i've replied to Christine too that she really inspired me with her family memory quilt so so the silence has come because <laughs> I can't can't wait can't wait So if you're new, my style is, I don't really know <laughs> what to call my style, but I, I just spontaneous, I suppose. And just having, having a go, I've just buried the pin cushion that had all my needles threaded up, which is also very cake. Honestly, that's why I need multiples of everything. Here's one. This has got something on it. So let's get started. Um, so this is a wool. I was noticing that Karen stitches everything with black. And I also know that Beck does some of that on her... Um, quilts and I thought I'd love to try that but for the moment I I do black machine stitching on my paper for my journals so I've got three days before we go away on our country oppie adventure so I've got lots of opportunities to 
do some stitching and get ready for that. Okay, so just a little bit of text to start us off with my big giant stitches. Let's go down here. Can you see? I thought I'd do a shout out to my Sydney, Sydney friends from the Green Door, Carol and Sandra, who joined us, I think they did Beck, yes, they did Beck's course um, at the Green Door and then joined us on the Green Door on tour trip, where we went to lots and lots of shops and Carol, um, special wishes to you. I know you're your daughter is about to get married and that's a very, very significant um, milestone. So we're all wishing um, your family the happiest of days coming up. All right, so I've got a little bit of lace stitched down, a little bit of rose. I don't particularly want to use this for everything, but just go down a little bit further. does pucker up a bit because I'm just a little bit big with my stitches but I I actually that's my I like it because it's the texture what did I do there I did a over the top stitch so seeing I've started with that let's just keep going did have a laugh because I still remember coming home from primary school very upset because the sewing teacher had told me that my um, stitches looked like shark's teeth and I know Rachel sometimes talks about dog's teeth but um, I mean that's a memory in itself so now I'm proudly doing <laughs> not proudly but you know what I mean I don't worry So I have ended up using all of this thread. Finish that off. I want to wish Sarah from Roxy Creations a happy holiday as a hard working school teacher. Um, you know, every term has got major events in it. So, Sarah, I hope you have lovely plans and can, um, yeah, rejuvenate and enjoy the break. I'm thinking, no, I'll put something else over there. I was just going to say, is that too square? Little pucker. Okay, what else will we do? Oops. 
So we just have a little dip in here and see what other pieces could go. I've got a butterfly of Rachel's. I'll do those later on. I've got a little bit of this one, which is very mum, and another bit of her, well, it's not her, but machine embroidery, oppie shoppy that I'm liking to link the pieces. So I've got a bit of pink up here. So we'll do maybe some down here. Which is the right side. This is the right side. be sad to finish this piece because I remember the exact moment I found it. Are you like that? Like when you find your treasures, do you remember? Even if we've got lots and lots, I think some just um, speak to us particularly all right i don't need the that i'm not sure whether i'll use that on this piece but let's just so if you're starting out i'm oh sorry my desk all of a sudden it's been very good through the winter but it's got the creakles back um if you're new to collage, I would say just cut rectangles of different sizes or squares and then just start laying over so that you don't um, have um, edges at the same point. It's a very bad explanation and I probably should stop. Um, that's nice. I don't know yet. I've got one bit of text there. Got something there. Got more text. Actually, I don't mind the um, that because it reflects the brown up there. Not sure. So what we might do, I think the other thing I'm finding is this is so fast because my garden ones blocks are so big. So I am really enjoying this smaller size. Okay, so let's just lay that there for now. And let's get another piece. And these have, I left the blanket stitch deliberately on it. And let's see if we can have some play with the quilt shop. She says, as she looks <laughs> desperately around the room, where's the, where's the quilt shop gone? There it has. I feel like it belongs on this blanket, which you know, symbolizes love and warmth. And I feel there's too much sky. So let's, let's center that one. So that's a little bit of the pillowcase. That. I think we need some of this key rose. Let's 
when I say key, it's because this is the bold colour that I'm using to join. And we bought this together from the sewing basket and mum's got half and I've got half. Oh, it's making... Oh my gosh, look at that. So let's tie in the yellow with the yellow on the quilts here. So the quilt shop's going to be in the garden. Let's move it over a little bit more to the middle, but you, so that you can still see that the process over here, even though I've covered this up with a thousand other scraps. Thinking the green and the green in that butterfly. That's that's fussy cut for the moment. She may not end up here, but this this is where Rachel has been very clever. Like it's this butterfly is over um, a balance. Mm, I don't know what those books are called. Ledges. So you've got background and foreground all ready to go. Uh -huh. Maybe. We will see. Um, I know I know a lot of um, us start out with all the um, the background and then layer on top. So absolutely do that as well. It's... <laughs> My husband sometimes says, that's a nice. That's what I felt like saying then. A little bit of Rachel's text there. I like it. So this could be explaining in Italian. This is the quilt shop. We've got a quilt here. Don't know yet where the butterfly will end up. I wouldn't mind some of this beautiful fiber, not fiber, tactile. <laughs> Maybe a smaller. bit of fraying so this could tie the I'm um, see I'm seeing the pattern in the diamonds on that quilt with this little patterns here into the roses maybe a little bit of blue and what else let's just start with that hey and let's do some pretty pink. Please don't look at this huge. <laughs> this is this this is the same skein of wool that I opened the wrong way, and it's never been the same. But as long as I can pull um, threads out easily, it is working for me. Sun is shining here today, which is still cold, but at least 
it's not true really. Drizzling and dreary. So this is how I have fun everyone. I haven't used pins and I just think how many pieces can I sew down together at the one time <laughs> and which little path can my needle take. So there it is. I don't mind about that little end. Will it come undone? I don't think so. It could. So when I come back with the, some other stitching over the top, I will make sure it goes down again. I feel like doing some embroidery, but um, I'm probably not quite up to that yet. Left the selvage on over there. Yep. Okay. Quick, quick change of mind. Look how crooked that's gone. That's why it's a very good idea to use pins. So let's let's do the right thing. some in. Then I can turn it around a bit more easily. What was I doing with that? I had the red like that, didn't I? So I love that. We're just going to do a little bit of canther over the top of this. So that's joined on now. And where will we go now? the roof and yep. gone quiet from having us. Didn't go quite long enough with that. I wanted to tuck that little corner under with that petal. Do a little bit of tear on the go. Just a little bit more. Got the hang of it. 
just making my lazy daisy flowers. And we're putting them in amongst these beautiful pink roses. I just love the, you know, the seeding of ideas or the cross-pollination, really. So I was just thinking then, I'm doing this for my mum because Judy made oh, Lulu a quilt that hung has hung on the back of Rachel's chair and then Rachel has made a quilt. Or Lulu. So that's how it all works, isn't it? We get influenced and inspired and every stitch is a memory in something like this. Do one more because I like things in threes. We'll go over into this area. So I'm going to do some work on the journal that goes. Um, Yes. The forever problem of running out right at the end. We'll just do a third petal for the moment. There we go. I think that has given you an idea and me some happy stitching time um, before I go and start the weekend in earnest. So pieces gifted to me by my mum and shared memories. Um, that's that block. Here's one contrasting in colours, mum's pillowcase and embroidery, Rachel's script and beautiful floral there. And you can probably just see how um it will quickly all merge together and i suppose my only thought at the moment is this is the bluest piece so how i will um work some blues into the other blocks so that doesn't stand out as not belonging so there we are i am going to say bye for now um, I'll be back because Kate can't stop stitching and she loves being part of this community so I'll see you very soon in the meantime have a wonderful um, night or day or whatever you're up to I'm thinking of you and sending blessings bye for now this is Kate